it's a golf. Well, a golf SV, which stands for sports van. That's a very European sounding and not hugely inaccurate word, it's a van and dynamically not far off the golf. The two are 95% identical, after all, so claims Volkswagen. Chances are, though, it's probably a while since you've seen one, given that just 2,302 have been sold in the UK so far this year. For scale, that's half as many as the Golf Estate, less than a tenth as many as the Tiguan, and 1 25th as many as the Golf Hatchback. It's also almost half that of the Sirocco, which was discontinued earlier this year, in part because of slow sales. Sheesh. The SV we're driving is the facelift model, which has been given a nip and tuck to bring it into line with the updated Golf, which arrived this spring. There are tweaks to the exterior and interior, but the engines are where the most change has been made. There's the new 1.5 liter TSI engine, now also used in just about every other mid-sized Volkswagen Group model, in three states of tune. It drives like a Golf. A slightly taller Golf. That's no bad thing either, not by half, it's just as refined as the Golf and has near identical handling and all the quality. The only differences are a boost in practicality and a slightly Raleigh or cornering attitude, due to that extra heft high up in the car's silhouette. The 1.5 TSI Evo unit in its most powerful form feels less punchy than it does in the regular Golf, with the SV's excess weight denting performance slightly. It still has more power than you'll need, though, and it only makes excessive noise above 5500 RPM, a height unlikely to be reached in daily driving. The 128 BHP is the sweet spot in the 1.5 TSI lineup, with the optimum mix of performance and economy. There is a lesser 1.0 liter TSI engine with either 84 BHP or 109 BHP, but even the higher powered of these is sluggish, with a harsher engine no to boot.